let's move towards the pyrimidines also because it has three nitrogenous bases that is uracil thymine and cytosine Uracil is present in case of RNA and thymine is present in case of DNA. So here you can see the difference between the uracil and thymine also. Uh, uh, here you can see the structure of uh, uracil first. It is also known as 2,4-dioxo. Di means two oxygen atoms are present but where that is on the second position and fourth position. Here you can see. So let's start. One more thing you have to remember here that you have to learn only the six letters here. Six letters here, it means only CN, CN and CC. No need to learn uh, N, N and C here. So that is the happy thing you have to do here. So let's start C and C and C, C. Okay. Here we start numbering from this nitrogen atom. In the case of purines, we were starting from this one. But in case of pyrimidines, we will start from this one. So this simple thing you have to remember only. Okay. Now you can see that nitrogen. Then carbon. First position is the nitrogen. Second carbon. Third nitrogen. Fourth carbon. Fifth carbon. Sixth carbon. And then 2,4 dioxo. It means on the second position, one oxygen atom is present. And on the fourth position, one oxygen atom is present here. So here you can see that both oxygens are present on the second and fourth position. So its name is 2,4-dioxopyrimidine. Is it clear to you guys? Is it simpler one? Okay, let's move towards the thymine. The, the difference between the uracil and thymine is only only the presence of methyl group. Because in uracil it is not present and in case of thymine it is present so where it is present let's have a look that is 2,4 dioxo that is same as in case of uracil and in fifth carbon atom a methyl group is present okay it means somewhere methylation is going on which is forming thymine so again that is C and C and C C clear same structure of uh, uracil on second position there is a oxygen atom and then on fourth position there is oxygen atom and on the fifth carbon atom there is a methyl group that is the methyl group which is present in fifth position that is the main difference rest of the things are same you can see here that the main frame structure is same in both or you can say in uh, all three cases that is uracil and thymine and cytosine now come towards the last one that is the cytosine we also known as cytosine as 4 amino 2 oxo pyrimidine okay that is 4 amino it means amino group is present on the fourth position and that is a 2 oxo and that is the pyrimidine clear okay the main frame structure is same again that is c and c and c c clear Numbering will start from that nitrogen that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And where a minor group is present on the fourth carbon. So here it is the minor group and that is present on the fourth carbon. And 2 oxo, it means oxygen is present on the second position. Here it is the oxygen. So I think this is clear to you. So one thing you have to remember only that nitrogenous basis that has two types that is the purine a small name that is a small name but big structure and in case of uh, pyrimidine big name and small structure clear purines has two types it means two types adenine and guanine in the previous slide you can see here and adenine is known as 6 amino purine and guanine is known as 2-amino 6-oxo purine and then after in case of pyrimidine the main frame structure is same and only only six letter are used here these six in case of purine it were nine but here only six okay so that is the common thing here 2,4-dioxo 2,4-dioxo only methyl group is extra in thymine and in case of cytosine that is little different only fourth position amino group is present and two oxo it means on the second position oxygen atom is present now i think 
these structures are clear to you so guys now i think that these all structures are clear to you is it now you can make a kuti checker after learning these structure and whenever you want to play you play with that okay play with that kuti checker so that will help you in revision of these nitrogenous bases you can draw the inside also like that and outside so let's play and let's learn so that is the complete way of learning actually and that will really going to help you in your exams and guys once again i am repeating that thing that if you are feeling any kind of doubts related with your biology or in any topic if you are feeling doubt you can tell me in comment section if you have any queries any questions in your mind which are going to, which are continuously bothering you you can tell me guys frankly and i am going to answer you definitely so this time so for this video i think this is sufficient and hope you have enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe my channel that is biomania a complete solution for biology and uh, if you like that video don't forget to press the like button and also share with your friends so that they will also learn these tricks and shortcuts for studies okay bye bye this time